Welcome back, Mother Munchers, to another episode of Married with Munchies and Movies. I'm Rebecca. I'm Gabe. And this week, the February of <laughs> love continues as we have another <laughs> romantic comedy. Not even comedy. This is the whole thing was a <laughs> disaster. <laughs> it's a romantic movie called The Notebook. And to go with that, we made little Brazilian coconut kisses. Yes, they're called beijinhos, and they are these little coconut little desserts uh, that you usually find in a lot of like kids' birthday parties, adult birthday parties for that matter. We had it at our wedding. Oh yeah, your mom makes them anytime because they're just one of my favorite things. Yeah, we Here. have a little f different variation of it, so let's just check out how we f made them. <laughs> to go along with this recipe, we watched The Notebook. Uh, so it the was notebook, rough. It, uh, it's such a cute movie. It came out in 2004, I believe. Yep. Um, and it's such a cute movie, just about these two kids who. Kids. <laughs> okay. They're well... <laughs> fucking degenerate, dementia, fucking old bitches. Okay. So it's an old couple, an old man reading a story to a lady, telling the story of how they met, and she forgot. Spoiler him. alert. Oh. You. It came out in Spoiler 2004. Alert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's an old couple reading a story. Basically, the man is reading the story to her of how they met. She's at a nursing home. She's got like dementia or something and yeah. doesn't recognize him or the story. Or her kids or anything, to be honest. Right. But uh, it, yeah, it starts obviously like a flashback and you hear of how they met and how this dipshit went around the fucking, uh, what are they called? Ferris wheel. Yeah. And like terrorize people. And he really should have just slipped and broken his neck and it would have saved me. I don't know how long this was, like two hours, an hour and a half. 124 minutes. Oh, too <laughs> fucking long. Basically, though, the main character, Noah, um, played by Ryan Gosling, he spends yeah. like his whole time like revamping, rebuilding, whatever this old, I think it was, a, was it a barn? Plantation. Plantation building. Because he thinks that once he rebuilds it, She'll come this back to him. This hoity-toity bitch is going to come back to him when yes. her parents fucking hate him because right. he's not rich. Right. He wrote all these letters, and of course, the parents never got them to her. You know, they they move on. She after moved like a on. Year's worth. She is about to marry another fucking dude. Yep. And then, like, she sees that home bitch fucking fix the house. Anyways, he builds this house. She starts, or she's engaged to another man. Yep. She goes she's, away for like a night to go ch check up on Noah. Because she's a whore. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So kind of, like. essentially the movie can be summed down to uh, two words. It's fucking chick porn. That's all it is. <laughs> okay. It really is. It's <laughs> all the fucking parts in porn that you skip. <laughs> But two hours of it. I hate to agree with that, but like it, it kind of is. It's exactly what it is. It's like it's a sappy love chick story. Porn, chick porn is all the talking minus the penetration. And that's mm. what we got for two hours. Do you yeah. agree? Even the scene that there was penetration, you just see some fucking shitty titties and that's kind of it. <laughs> shitty titties. <laughs> They weren't great. Shitty titties, man. We can go on seven different free websites <laughs> tonight and see better tits. <laughs> Jeez. For free. 
for free. Anyway, we can watch the Notebook seven other times. I mean, if you want to be single, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. You know, to go with the Notebook, we made these strawberry beijinhos. Yes, so let's give them a try. Let's give them a shot. Mmm. Mmm. They're very rich. So good. They're not quite as soft as the ones your mom makes. And it's because of the jello. Really good. Mmm, maybe. Mm hmm. The jello definitely changes the consistency a little bit. Yeah. So normally, obviously, you don't put jello in it for just the normal ones. They're still really good, though. The strawberry taste, again, we're bastardizing and Americanizing some of my. <laughs> some of my culture here for shits and giggles but Aww. it's not a bad taste mm -mm. it's like a I don't know like a hint of strawberry a hint of something it's like a coconut cream ball with like a hint of strawberry mm -hmm. like a strawberry kiss oh god <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no um mm. yeah the notebook um, <laughs> I'll start with the food because that was pleasant. Uh, again, we are slightly bastardizing some of my, the cultures from my motherland, if you will. <laughs> yeah. But I know what Beijing's like Beijing's are pretty high up on my list of like desserts, Brazilian, mm -hmm. like finger food desserts. It's a nine. So with the strawberry, the changing of consistency and the taste a little bit. I don't dislike it, and it is good, so I'll do like an 8.4. Okay. That's fair, because, yeah. You're mm -hmm. still chewing. Sorry. Nice. I'll put another big bite in. Oh, uh, I'm going to save for a second after we're done recording. Mm. Okay. The traditional, mm -hmm. I think, is my favorite. The traditional is my favorite. But this is a good idea. It's, the traditional is usually a little creamier, so it is yes. like at least a nine and a half for me. These nine and a half is solid. Well, also, you don't like chocolate, so like anything that's not chocolate, but also good is going to score, dessert. score pretty high with you. Yes, because there are not many desserts that are not chocolate aside from like a vanilla cupcake, but whatever. Over here, there's a lot of fruity stuff, but go on. Anyway, traditionally, nine out of ten, nine and a half. With the strawberry, I think it could be like an eight and a half to nine. Yeah. But I don't know if it's the texture from the jello or if I did something wrong. Well... Like if the normal ones that your mom makes They're had a not, strawberry hint to them, they would, they would be amazing. But I think you could do that if you did, instead of the jello. Like flavoring? Food coloring and strawberry like concentrate or something. True. I don't know. You I'm going to stick with a solid like 8.5. I mean, yeah, that's fine. 8.5 overall. And on the recipe, I mean. The, All things considered. It's, uh, I'm glad we found this recipe for mm -hmm. something. But like, you know, change some shit around. See, see what turns out good. Some stuff, most of the stuff is probably not going to turn out that great, but eventually you'll find something that's like, holy shit, this is the way to make this. Watch a bunch of movies. Sometimes you watch movies like The Notebook <laughs> and you're like, fuck. But holy then shit, you're this like chick porn is horrible. That that was, I had never seen it. And like, this is the truth. Little, little behind or breaking the fourth wall here, I guess. Um, behind the scenes. Uh, we had a copy of the notebook <laughs> behind us. Yes. Because I've been collecting DVDs since, I don't know. Forever. Literally forever. forever. But anyway, and, and we've had a copy that I think we bought probably about 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. And we found it still in cellophane because it's yep. just that great of a movie. And still we wrapped up. literally just opened it so we can expose myself <laughs> to myself. <laughs> I did not like it. Uh, it's a cute movie. It's it's chick porn. Like it's not my go-to anymore lately. Like it's just not. It's I'd rather watch a good movie. Yeah, it's still a good movie. So for me, it's again for my tastes. It's I'm never gonna watch it again. So it's like a five and a half, six maybe. It's That's just not still my impressively thing. high for something that you say you're never gonna watch again. That you're like really. I mean, if I'm counting for uh, listen, I, I'm trying to be fair. The cinematography for other good. things, yes. Yeah, cin cinematography, like you know, editing, the pace. Although like the, the pace was a little slow at times, but like the storyline itself. The is story cute. was kind of shit. It was a cliche <laughs> built on cliche, and I would call things before they happen, and then three scenes later, it's like oh. 
they really could have been more creative on that. I know. At I the know. end, make her kill him. You know what I mean? Make it interesting. <laughs> make Do it Romeo something. and Juliet thing. Fucking bring Shyamalan to the fucking writing room. You know, let's let's get uh, something. Geez, but uh, no, it was very predictable, very cliche, chick porn, five and a half. Cute cliche romantic movie that I could watch if I was home alone folding laundry while you're at work or something. I don't know. That's the only time I'd watch it. Just watch porn. <laughs> Bro. Mm. That's what I'm taking away from I'm this I'm going to go with like a seven. A seven? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, you know, there's Let's no accounting for taste. <laughs> um, but anyway. Any uh, hoodles. Happy fucking Valentine's Day. After all my commentary, I'm sure I'm not getting laid. I hope you guys are. <laughs> but uh, you guys have a great week, you know? Happy Valentine's Day, Mother Munchers. I'll see you Mother Munchers next week. <laughs>